Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Fractions. Subtracting fractions when borrowing is necessary. There are five steps to follow. First step, find least common denominator LCD. Second, convert each mixed number to its equivalent. Third, rewrite the first mixed number by borrowing one from the whole number portion and adding the denominator to the numerator, for example, 3 and 3 over 4. Borrow your 1 from whole number portion, 3 becomes 2. Add the denominator to the numerator, 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 3 and 3 over 4 becomes 2 and 7 over 4. How it works? Let me show you. First, we write 3 and 3 quarter into whole number portion and a fraction portion, right? Then borrow 1 from whole number portion, so 3 becomes 2. And the 1, which we borrowed, we write with fraction together. This is still equal, right? Equal. Then, we convert the mixed number into improper fraction. So we get 7 over 4, right? Because 1 plus 4 and plus 3. So that's why we got the 2 and the 7 over 4. The third step is subtract the whole number portions and the fraction portions. The last step is simplify the final answer if needed. And let me show you two examples. The first example is 3 and 1 over 6 minus 1 and 1 over 4. First find least common denominator with 6 and 4 is 12. And second, convert each mixed number to its equivalent. So 3, 1 over 6 equals 3, and 2 over 12. And 1, over, 1 and 1 over 4 equals 1 and 3 over 12. Then we need a borrow 1 from whole number portion, 3 becomes 2. Add the denominator to the numerator, which is 14, and minus 1 and 3 over 12. And this one we got the 2, subtract 1, add 1, and subtract the fraction portion, 14 minus 3 equal 11, 12. The second example, 6 and 5 over 12 minus 4 and 7 over 8. The common denominator with 12 and 8 is 24. So if you still have problem with find the least common denominator, and just go back to the review. Twenty-four. Find its equivalent, 12 to 24, multiply 2, so multiply 2 to the 5, become 10. 8 to 24, multiply 3, so 21. Because even 6 is greater than 4, but the fraction portion, 10 over 24, is less than 21 over 24. That's what we need to do borrowing. Borrow 1 from 6, become 5. Add the denominator to numerator, 34, 4. Then subtract the whole number portion and subtract fraction portion is 13. And then there is no common fact. 
So the answer is 1 and 13 over 24. Okay, the next is your turn to have question practice. So after practicing, you can check your answer to see if it is correct. Now I show you the solutions. The first question, 1, 5 and 1 quarter minus 3 and 1 third. Find the least common denominator, 4 and 3 and 12. So 5, 12, 1 quarter, 2, 3 over 12. And the 1 third becomes 4 over 12. Actually, you can check. If you simplify 3 over 12, you still get that 1 quarter. Simplify 4 over 12, still get 1 third, right? And then this is smaller, we need to do borrow, borrowing. So borrow 1 from 5 becomes 4. Add the denominator to the numerator, 15 minus 3, 12, 4. And we subtract whole number portion, subtract the fraction portion, 11. Then the second, 10 and the 3 over 16 minus 4 and 11 over 16 because already a common already common factor uh, already common denominator so we don't need to find least common denominator so but we need the borrowing because 3 over 16 less than 11 over 16 so borrow 1 from whole number portion and add the denominator to numerator which is 19 minus 4, 16, 11. So subtract the whole number portion, 5. Subtract the fraction portion, 8. And then we need to check 8 over 16 can be simplified. Becomes 5, 1 over 2. This is represented by wise guys. Oops. <laughs>